freaking avatar. Okay, okay. I am here. <laughs> and bacon is first again. Did you make like a macro or something? Amos, don't be a knob. Of course, as soon as we get started. Oi. First. I just, I just would love you all to know. I just would love you all to know. Oh, sorry. Um, bacon J post. Thank you. Uh, the wee baby boy has been the sweetest all day, and is literally. I pushed go, and he's like, "Hmm, what if I decide to bark at the neighbours?" Like, but why? You love people. I fucking loves people. Okay. <laughs> Baker, Dustin, Legend, Angel, Kalina, Square Peg, Puns, Flowers, Numbers, Bismarck, Ragnar, who else we got? Fearless, Grand Take, and of course the Immortal Land, the Legend of Morad. What? Oh, and welcome! So I have a pun filled title of nonsense to show you today. So this isn't going to be the longest of streams. Um, life is conspiring against me. I had actually, I wanted to, I wanted to hang out with you all much, much earlier today. Um, I have been on the phone with PayPal a lot today. And fingers crossed, touch wood, touch wood. We've actually helped progress things. Ah, uh, hookshot takes one and no one. Boosh. Uh, and Wolfgrad, what and welcome. Greybeard, lovely to see you. <laughs> I should get Uno Reverso on quick draw. You can't, I'm not letting you on the balcony. You're going to go and bark at people. Get us a reputation. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> Better hope the leaf blower man doesn't tame his leaf blower at the sky, because then it will blow up. <laughs> Wolfgrad, thank you kindly. Um, feckin' yo. Feckin' yo. Anyway, sorry. So, I apologise for being late today, but it's not due to uh, rampant hangovers. So, we'll take that as a win. Uh, I have coffee in one hand, and I have fucking cup noodle in the other. The regular kind as well, not the crunchy Gundam kind, which is less fun to eat. <laughs> How are you all doing, friends? Fuck yeah, Cup Noodle. I unironically love these little things. Um, they do one which is like a stir-fry microwave one. And I'm just like, a beast that and then crack an egg into it. Oh. oh. Um, uh, Hookshaw says, question. Might be able to answer. Wondering if we should release another trailer now. Uh, that there is so much more game. Or oh, wait to do a release data trailer for next year. Hey! Best of Sinti Game Dev Assets Remix was just purchased Fuck for yeah. year 23, 33. Remember that was? Beck and Yor. No, seriously. Beck and Yor. Thank you. Um, and Kyber, what and welcome. Hello, hello. Hey, then Kyber, just relax. Let the 2000s drum and bass menu music remind you of PlayStation games past, of, uh, of GameCube adventures. Oh, hang on a second. You're okay. Where were we? Ah, yes. Hello. 
So, this is the game that we are playing today. It is called... <laughs> Hunger just purchased Humble Book Bundle, Cookbooks and Cocktails by Chronicle Books for $18. Fucking yo. Um, whoever it is that's going through all of the, uh, the Humble Bundle stuff at the moment, fucking thank you. I know I say this a lot, I understand partner links and all that kind of faffery are a pain in the arse. So, really appreciate it. Alright? Even if my uh, brain's fallen out of my ears. So, okay. Today we are playing Leaf Blower Man. Or as its full title, This Game Blows. Uh, it is made by Unbound Creations. Um, which is a, uh, a local Seattle friendo. Um, this is the game they're releasing before they do uh, just crow things. Where you play as a cute little crow. You poop on people and steal shiny stuff. It's great. Um, the last of their titles that we really, really got stuck into uh, was... Where is it? Um, Rain on Your Parade. And if you didn't see that one, that was fucking hilarious. Where you just play an asshole cloud. Each level you must cause a specific kind of chaos, and that's it. That's the game. So, replace... <laughs> replace Chaotic Cloud for that asshole with a leaf blower. And that's what we're doing today. Uh, also, this game doesn't come out until the 18th. And I... Have been trying to find a little slot to, to pop this into. And I was like, you know what? I think today would be perfect. Mary's like, I'd watch a stream of a guy causing chaos with a leaf blower. I, I couldn't do it. I, I have cursed out leaf blowerman more times than I can account. Well, and Kaibo, it's not... Oh, shit! <laughs> grey, what oh and welcome! Hello, hello! It is a grey Saturday morning, and you're an asshole with a leaf blower. <laughs> Fucking you all! So yeah, I'm not doing this to flex. I'm not doing this to, uh, oh, I have cool indie video game friends. But no, I really want to support this game. So, friends, miscreants, and newly found raiders, what ho and welcome. It is time to become Leaf Blowerman. Like Lord Mower Man, but Leaf Blowerman. Yeah, here we go. Um, but great, how was your stream? What were you up to? Before we get started on game, tell me your tales. Um... And Dustin, that is an important question. Who would win in a fight between Leaf Blowerman and Piss Jugman? I think that Piss Jugman's got higher, like, single shot DPS, but overall, like, Leaf Blowerman can go the distance. Uh, Grey was doing FTL. Oh, God, the, the great classics. It still makes me smile how much. Little story beats are buried in such a, a chunky roguelike. It always makes me smile. I don't want to go too, too into details just because I, I don't know how much you play. I don't want to spoil things, but to this day, I still think about how much story there is to FTL in a game that didn't really need it, you know? You're on a spaceship. You're running from bad to go fight worse. Like, it, it, they didn't need to go hard on the story. <laughs> uh, Jay says they are kidnapping Grey forever. Uh, well, Grey, as uh, as someone who has been partially adopted by Jay, I, I appreciate this. I understand where you're at. There's a support group. Don't worry about it. We have like a we have a Snapchat group. Yeah. Huh. Uh, Bacon was saying that. Um, they're going to be doing some Sea of Thieves drops. I guess because no one's going to be streaming before the season kicks in, so they're trying to, like, incentivize. <laughs> Jay says that Grey was their uh, roommate at one point. You cannot be saved. Well, fuck. I'll, I'll let the group know. <laughs> but no, seriously, it's lovely to meet you. Um, I should probably introduce myself a little bit. Hi, I'm Will. Um, I worked in video games longer than some prison sentences, and I still love it, weirdly. 
I do this mostly for a living, um, but I also do other cool stuff. And today I am showing off a cool ass indie game. So, okay, no, I should say, Leaf Blower Man is going to be some glorious mimetic nonsense. If you've ever been woken up by an asshole with a leaf blower at 7 o'clock in the morning, if you've ever had to delay your stream because two fuckers with jet powered, you know, plant removers are playing Duel of Fates outside your fucking window, um, then this will, this will ring true. Become the villain. And it's from the same gentleman that made uh, Rain on Your Parade, which was an incredible comedy game about being an asshole cloud. Hello. And really, Watto, and welcome. Oh. Oh. Really, has got a bowl of halloumi fries and some homemade hot sauce. Oh. Uh, Fiona did uh, twice fried tofu the other night with a... Like a... Tiger sauce ketchup soy blend that was just fucking great. <laughs> and then Kaibal's like, it's not beer or anything. I just, I, I keep talking about um, getting halloumi for Fiona because they haven't had a whole bunch of it. Um, and then I forget, and every time I buy the cheese counter, I'm broke. So it's not something I uh, have been able to do as much as I would like. Now, jumping back, jumping back. So Hookshot was asking, uh, should they do a trailer? Okay, so we're talking about the Sacred Acorn, right? Or are we talking about Lightforge? Because Lightforge is an early access title. So if you've got like a big old, oh, something that would be interesting for a content drop, that's definitely worth doing like a new trailer to go with if you've got the bandwidth. For the Squirrel game, um, you would probably want to create an asset around something. So if it's someone who's already really intrigued, they'll go, oh, that's kind of cool. And if they've, if it's someone who's never seen the game before, it might give them that, like, huh. You know, I'm not saying give your squirrel a handgun, but, you know, that, that kind of, like, mimetic addition would probably be the best thing to find there. Um... Like having a having a good solid reason for a good solid trailer, I think is helps kind of like tie it all together. <laughs> Immortal end. Give the squirrel a baby. The baby has a handgun. <laughs> Some people say they love cheese, but if you love something, if you love something, you can let it hurt you. You truly love cheese. You're prepared to go the gauntlet. I mean, I continue to drink gin despite it hurting me, so. This is the Yoshi Island sequel we didn't know we needed. Squirrel with a baby with a gun. Uh, but yeah, sorry, friends. If you haven't seen Hookshot's game, Hookshot is making a uh, adorable... Um, it's probably better to call it like a more... more Zeldian, more Soulsian than it is like a big old Metroidvania. But it is super adorable uh, and it's super interesting as well. It's called the Sacred Acorn. And that's where that naptime shirt I got came from. And yeah, Hookshot's moving towards what, like, release is looking to be next year, right? Deceptively cute action adventure, that is a great pitch. Um, it's just... Okay, there's never a bad time to make content of your game. It's just a question of, like, return on investment. If you spend two weeks making a cool trailer that's just dropping to be a cool trailer, that might not be two weeks well spent. But if it can focus on and thing, then potentially you can bring it through. And Kaolu, I hope I said hi. Uh, if I didn't, then Watto and welcome. If I did, you get two greetings.
Uh, but for those of you that would like to wishlist the Sacred Acorn, or at least check it out, have a look at this Madabo tool. There's the... There's the game in question. Um, I believe we did a, a little... A little showing off of the trailer, uh, the trailer, the demo a little while back. It was a lot of fun. And, well, Angel Kalina, imagine if you could do laundry day, but with a leaf blower. How much more fun would that be? <laughs> so, yeah. So, Hookshot, that's kind of like... Should you make more video stuff? Yes. Um, I mean, honestly, if you feel the games come so much further than your existing trailer, honestly, then just an updated, remove the old one, add the new one is fine. Got no marketing beat reasons to make the for the new one. That's understandable, but you know the power of a good trailer is something very, very important. And better to have it now and not need it than need it and have to fucking kill yourself crunching to make a trailer in two days. Because none of us have ever had to crunch to make a video asset before. It's never. I know, Avis. I know. You gonna come say hi to the people? Now, are you stressy spaghetti? Or are you gonna come say hi? Amos, can you up up? Can you up up? Yes, good boy! This is my boy. This is my boy. <laughs> He's got crazy face. He's my crazy face boy. Oh, oh god, no. Good boy. Good boy. We're working on that one. We're working on it. If you ever wonder where all my money goes, looking after this great big lump. Um, so I tell you what, let me let me get started on this uh, hook shot, but I'm going to keep pondering on it because maybe there's a beat to find. I mean, what state of development are you? Because your your trailer currently says pre-alpha footage, right? So what you could do is this could be the beta trailer. Like, I mean, you could, depending on how much you want to show behind the curtain, you could be like, here's where we are. Here's where we are now. Do you know what I mean? There's a there's a potential angle there. Four months from content complete. Okay. I haven't eaten today. Sorry. I know uh, scoffing nudes on uh, on camera is uh, is not safe for work, but here we are. I <sighs> know. Oh, and Varbles, you are correct. Like launch is a very good reason to make a video asset. What Hookshot is asking is: is there a is there a good reason to do it between now and then? Um. And launch is not four months away. They're going to be on content lock in four months, or content complete in four months. And then it's, you know, stability, polishing, patching. And like, are, are you making more work for yourself for something that you're going to be chucking out come like launch trailer time, or can it have some value? What do you reckon, Amos? What do you reckon, buddy? We don't have any good advice for this marketing campaign. Um, because you, know, I mean, Bookshot, you know me. I'm more about like timeless assets than than disposable ones. But that's just because like I'm always acutely aware of how much time it takes to make a good trailer. I mean, hookshot, then maybe do some personable content around it. Like, just sit there with your phone and do, like, a little piece to camera. Like, hey, 
my um, hookshot. I've been making this game with all of these cool people. And we have this trailer. I love this trailer. This is a great trailer. But I need to show you all how far we've come because it's dragged me up the wall. And just do that. You know, that's something you can share with us. You can share with friends. And people can be like, oh shit, boy, this sure is coming together well. I guess kind of in a devlogian kind of sense. It's not going to be the stodgy like, Hi, I'm a business person with a business face, and I'm going to say a lot of gamer words to you while I wear a button-down shirt, despite the fact that I've done fuck all to help with development. In fact, even though I'm talking to you right now, I've actively harmed development for most of the production of this game. The dev team avoids me as best they can. Sorry, kind of, I don't mean to keep bringing up flashbacks. I just... The Four Horsemen remind. I've been chatting a lot about it this week, sorry. Yeah. Fearless. Uh, unfortunately, that was absolutely targeted. Guy, well, I'm sorry. You know exactly who the fuck I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, sorry. So not in that regard. You know, like... With something like the Sacred Acorn, it's a game that's all about its vibes and its intent. So... It's prob... I, I don't know how much... It's hard to gauge how much intent you should tell potential users ahead of time. Like, we want to make this game for these reasons. Or if you want to let them just infer it, but I think when it comes to, like, visual and graphical improvements and, like, the story so far, that's not a bad shout, you know? I think in that regard, so long as it's personable, you know? It doesn't have to be high quality. It has to be genuine. And I know that's much easier said than done. You know, if you want the Will Overguard method of how to do, like, genuine hosting, uh, get a glass of whatever you fancy. Just... Roll the camera, like, give yourself, like, two or three bullet points that you have to say, and just roll the camera, like, until you, until you hit upon the vibe that you want. It requires a lot more recording, but I think it comes out more genuine. Do you know what I mean? Or at least that's my humble opinion. <sighs> okay, so uh, as the uh, as time is against me today, as time is against me, because I will need to end things around about like five thirty ish. Um, let's let's get on with some leaf blowing. <laughs> Sorry, Kyle says I can't believe I was picked on. I hope you get this cold. Look, Kyle, I wouldn't have brought it up, but. There's this YouTube guy who popped in, who's like doing a fucking deep dive on everything like around hyenas, and like, oh, oh, it's good. I I don't know when, Kimball. I don't know when, but all the all the stories are gonna come out. Like, I know it doesn't undo all the shit you went through, but oh, oh, <laughs> a reckoning's a coming, ring a ding ding. Even the four horsemen can be felled. And friends, sorry to, to talk in code around you. Uh, sorry, for those who don't know, like, Kaimble was at the, the Creative Assembly. That's where we became friendos. And uh, Kaimble saying they left one day uh, before they were due to start work on Hyenas. So... Okay, that hookshot, um, I am absolutely okay with that, you know. I have a very budget and time conscious approach when it comes to, like, marketing assets. And if you're working with an external company to make a really sweet trailer, 
That's real cool. One day, Kaimble, we are getting a pint, and I cannot wait to hear all the stories. Uh, the irony is, you hang out here all the time, so you know my stories. <laughs> like, seriously, aside from this, I'm, I guess the consultancy stuff, but that's nothing drastic. There's, there's no stressy spaghetti. Um, the guy... Okay, this is how fucking much I love and work with this team. The guy I'm working with, he sent me a postcard while he was on holiday. And admittedly, he sent this in July, so it took a little while, but, like, that's fucking lovely. Uh, the rest of my life is looking after animals, sleeping too little, and drinking too much. Like, I'm, I'm real basic. But you know who's not super basic? Leaf Blower Man! How's that for a fucking segue? How's that for a fucking segue? Tottering over on my pedal bike. Segwaying across a little mountain. It's great. Okay. Now, I want to show you everything on this one because the the great thing about um, this gentleman's work is it's lots and lots of teeny tiny rapid fire jokes. And I really appreciate it. Like, we've talked about this a lot. I'm occasionally funny. Funny looking, funny sounding. Occasionally, I do things that are vaguely humorous. But it's, it's by rapid fire trial and error like i am not a comedian i'm just occasionally funny to laugh at so anytime you encounter a game with somebody who knows how to make potential funny like um i'm always impressed and rain on your parade was a great example of take a simple premise make it silly as and then run with it you know by the time we got to the metal gear solid level where you're a cloud dressed as solid snake it's just fucking brilliant. And the little old lady that need help uh, needed help in the supermarket. So you tornado wreck their shit. Like, God, that was good. And so we're going to take that premise and we're going to give it a leaf blower. Like, honestly, the leaf blower and the clouds would probably be enemies, so. So, let's get on with the game. The chance for rapid fire jokes is quite high. Uh, it said, trigger warning, this game contains violence against leaves. It's adjusting ever so slightly. There we go. <laughs> uh, and Kaimal, like, you're senior enough that, like, especially at, like, GDC or something, you could probably go on the hunt, but everything sucks right now. If you can survive over the winter... What could the secret menu mean? I don't even know. Oh, and the, the pet and the golden leaf blower are like, Hey, we're a super indie operation. If you want to support this game more, please get a golden leaf blower. Please. Uh, but honestly, friends, without further ado, let's just get into this. In a world where leaves fall from trees... Only one man can push them from one end of the driveway to the other. You are that man! Or woman! Or non binary! Or. Um. Uh, let's try this again. Alright. Alright, from the top. Leaf blower person! <laughs> ah! There we go. Much better. Anyway, we don't get paid by the word count, so let's begin this adventure! Choose your character. So you got Wii Mario, 
We've got character of unknown quantity and a Ghostbuster. Just be a Ghostbuster. Blow leaves to here. First house. Dead simple. Dead simple. Video games, am I right? <laughs> Let us sleep! Stop! Gonna get right up by the windows. That's where the good leaves are. <laughs> uh, you know what, Kalu? You're right. I, I'll have to. I'll have to take it up with Mister the Twitch. <laughs> Even the dog doesn't like it. Getting my dad game fix on as well. Yay! Zone complete! I'm so good at this. Second house! Don't even worry about it. The screams of nearby neighbors. Don't even worry about it. It's six in the freaking morning! Uh, Unbound VPN. What is this? I don't know if I was supposed to do that. I... Oh yeah, no, Hoffers, it's absolutely spot on. I mean, what's cracked me up is like, in like the dead of winter where it's raining and Leaf Blowerman's still like, you know what? Come, come rain or shine, come sleet or snow, I'm still gonna blow your fucking driveway. Oh, baby boy. I mean, it's better than the sport fuckers in our last apartment, I'll take, I'll, if I had to choose between the sport fuckers and Leaf Blowerman, I'm definitely taking Leaf Blowerman. If only because you can kind of make it sound like Leaf Erickson, if you pronounce it weird. But. I told you all about the sport fuckers, right? Like. I actually, no! Some of you have only known us since we've been in this place. Alright. So. So. The TLDR was that there was a couple of people in the apartment behind us, and they were morning people, and they were what I have referred to as sport fuckers, which is they, if you'll forgive the term, tap that in the same way as people hitting the gym. And you know, I appreciate people getting their, their their reps in, but those walls were very thin. And there was more than a few times where I had to wait to start stream because, like, otherwise, you know, shocker dial the demonetizer is coming in. Yeah, Jamami, morning people, the worst. Hey! So, uh, I want to say Kubalzo? Kubalzar. Kubalzaror. Um, that's Jacob. They made this fucking game. They're fucking cool. So if you've got any questions about um, the inspiration behind being a bastard with a leaf blower, now's the time. Alright. Do not let leaves fall in the pool. Other things, however... Top score! Hey, that's a whole person. 
into the water with ye. Heck you! I can breathe underwater! Well, if you can breathe underwater, you want your stuff down there. Stay out of the water! Uh, and you did, uh, you did miss my uh, dramatic reading of the opening titles. I'm very proud of that. <laughs> no sleep for you! Oh shit, Red Burning Dragon! Uh, yeah, uh, did you consider doing anything as a, like a crossover with Leif Erikson Day? Yeah, also heck your stuff! Am I literally the worst? <laughs> Beyond your petty morality. <laughs> I've just decided to just embrace the chaos. Are you tired of websites tracking every page of visits? Yeah. Do you worry the government may be spying you? Try Unbound VPN. <laughs> a new solution for anonymizing all of your internet traffic by routing your browsing activities from here. My laptop at, at my home. <laughs> every page of visit, every video you watch, I'll I'll see it too. It'll be like we're watching it together. It'll be like friends. It'll be great. It'll be, it'll be, you don't have to be alone anymore. I don't have to be alone anymore. Please, download and bomb VPN. I need this. Please. Please. <laughs> Skip that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God. And, and the tonal shift now, there's a there's a quiet mournful leaf blowerman. Like Okay, he's had a whole day of blowing leaves and being a jerk early in the morning, but... As a security professional, <laughs> this sounds legit Unbound VPN for the win. Maybe we should, uh, maybe we should reach out to Unbound VPN, get that as a sponsor. Unbound VPN. The number one VPN for... Having a friend. Just sharing videos with. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and Crux, thank you for the bits. Yeah, what is the life of quiet desperation? <laughs> He's doing the thing where he gets so excited he has to spin in a circle. It's so cute. Uh, he has been very, very good, except for uh, he didn't like one of our neighbors, so he was like, oh. What? Didn't like one of our neighbors, so he was like, oh. Which one? Uh, well, it's not one of our neighbors' neighbors. Come here. It's the, the dude who hangs out with the cool kids. Something about dudes in hats, he's just not a fan of. You know, I don't blame you. Shady individual. Yeah. Okay. So we are playing Leaf Blower Guy. Ah, uh, ah, uh, sir. Out. You've lost, you've lost all his privileges. <laughs> Welcome to my life. Um, so Yeti, I think that's meant to be the time because we started at like 6 a.m. with our leaf blowing this. What a shame. <laughs> Logo!
What what does Leaf Blowerman do on his way home from being a jerk? He blows leaves. Blows leaves on the subway. Blows leaves on a train. A life of quiet desperation. Why are there so many leaves on the train? Only Leaf Blower Man knows. Anti-leaf blowing turret currently active. What the fuck? How do I get an anti-leaf blowing turret? Amos. Yeah. Leaf blower man cannot be stopped by mechanics, machines, soulless creations. Is it weird that I already want to watch a speedrun of this? Is that strange? Now in a minute, I'm going to walk into my house and show you something that I think very few people in today's world can hope of achieving. And that's a 400 square foot inner city studio apartment for less than half of what you make in wages. <laughs> now if you sign up for my program, you too can learn how to achieve this kind of a lifestyle. <laughs> but before I do that, let me show you something else. My, my ride, my beauty, my pride and joy. Look at her. Yeah, I bought her used on the internet with cash. <laughs> like I said, anybody can learn my method. You just sign up in the next 15 seconds. I'll teach you the way, the one method, the simple trick I like to call tax fraud. <laughs> 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 Fuck! <laughs> oh, f <laughs> oh, I love it, I love it. <laughs> Stop the heist. Yeah, sometimes there's only one person that can help you not steal a lot of cash. Curses! The one thing our crime syndicate could not compete with. A guy <laughs> with a leaf blower, I guess. It's interesting, we're going to see into the mind of people who own leaf blowers. This is the... This is the the only thing that can stop a bad guy with a leaf blower is a good guy with a leaf blower. Uh, yeah. What's he? Uh, criminals, bro. Uh, <laughs> fuck! Uh, <laughs> Get my juggle combo, combo on. Man. Payday 3 is slaps. Uh, PVS, it's called an anti-hero. It's, it's very cool. <laughs> so PVS was like, pivoting directly from crime to crime fighting. <laughs> a leaf blower for a leaf blower leaves the whole world blown? Question mark? Ha! Ah! Ah! Get wrecked to pay! That's so unfair to me. No one has ever been this unfair to me. I mean, okay. One of the things I do find fascinating with comedy games is, like, how to maintain, like, pace and, you know, comedic timing is such a challenge. And it's something that I, I understand, but I couldn't explain how it's done, you know what I mean? <laughs> like I keep saying, I am not a funny person. Funny looking. Occasionally... I have the ability to make people laugh, but it's not intentional. You know? 
I have the comedic trappings of a child jumped up on skills. Like, they're just moving real fast, and eventually they might be slightly funny. So yeah, I'm always in awe of titles like this that can be funny on purpose. Just don't ask me how to fucking do it. Why must you torment us? Leaf blower person! Leaf blower son. <laughs> also popping a comedy game inside a, you know, the aforementioned dad game. You have ruined my life. Just doing my job, man. Just doing my job. Self-appointed job, I might add. Oh, what's this? An anti-leaf blowing protest? I will ban the evil leaf blower person! <sighs> what is a leaf blower man to do? Okay. We'll do this as a we'll do this as a multiple choice quiz. So we could A. Uh, open up a dialogue about the use of leaf blowers uh, unconditionally in urban areas and suburban areas. We could um, calmly take the feedback of these varying leaf blowersmen. Open a dialogue between us and the people. Or chaos. There is no Paragorn choice in Leaf Blower Man. Alright. <laughs> I only blew over one guy! This is a this is an unnatural fainting goat response. Let's get crazy with it. Fucking we! Yeah, yeah. Protest this! No gods or kings, only leaf flowing. The question that you ask yourself now, friends, is Is my leaf blower super powerful, or are these people super light? Yeah, you're right, Alnis. I couldn't leaf well enough alone. <laughs> Fred says this game is too real. I've hung out with Will before. All along, I was the leaf blower man. Uh, you're my friend now. We're having soft podcast later. Me a torta. Oh, Telly's gone. I don't know why, but for some reason, my brain is like, has anyone ever used the pun Dready Mercury for like a spooky character? I don't know why that's what came to mind, but I might have to save that one. Hello, leaf blower person. I am the mayor of world. Shit. All right, have I got any noodles on my face? I didn't, I didn't realize we were meeting the mayor of world. Fuck. As you know, everyone hates you. Nevertheless, we need your help. The moon has been covered by leaves. Of course, we should have known. No, we should have blown. I will see myself out. You are our only hope, please. Go to our secret space base in the desert and save our moon from leaves. Oh my god, this really is reverse Katamari hey, dancing. You know, games like this one, we, we, we made a game where we play as a 
cloud and and you ruin everybody's day it's called rain on your parade and, and it's a real game it's a real game that exists all, all those other ads are fake but but this is a real ad this is a real game you can you can go you can buy it and you can play it right now with like with like real money and, and, and it's so fun it's it's a bunch of weird levels and the power is like t tornado or snow or, or like snow but different and and, and it has 97 percent positive ratings and, and you, you can play it today you can you can just go you can shut down this game and you can you can go just buy it you just just do me a solid and, and go go buy it right now <laughs> it has like graphics and like actually exist and please please just go buy it now i i need you i, 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 I really need you to go buy it right now please and that's the best pitch for rain on your parade that anyone can give you it's better than i could uh, and numbers thank you for the 200. the five o'clock shadow definitely definitely brought it Fred, I fucking wish I worked on the in-game marketing for this. You missed the Unbound VPN and the uh, the Lifestyle Coach parody. Again. Those of you in kind of like the gaming space and the greater Seattle region, if I get the chance, I will introduce you to the creator of this. Because, as I said, they're just incredibly funny. I mean, friends, why I love these games. It's the same flavor of just like unhinged chaos. Also, one thing that's worth noting is that there's no like um, uh, health or damage system. It's only a scoring system. And that like with the boss fights, you just take score damage. So it's not about did you just go to the launch pad! You're not my real dad! Leaf Blower Justice! For some reason I felt bad about that one. Yeah, no, I think numbers, I think you're spot on. It's reverse Katamari Damacy. You see the Prince of... The Prince of the Universe up there. So what's this? Can't believe the fate of the moon is in your hands. Because the one thing the moon is weak against... <laughs> if there's one thing we know the moon can't handle, it's leaves. to see a dev friend's descent into madness. Avoid the asteroids! Fucking we. Fucking we. Fucking we. Fucking we. Fucking we. Ah, oh, shit! Space leaves. Deadlier than regular leaves. What's your deal? It's just, it's serving a similar kind of unhinged what the golf vibe, but to a whole new level. Oh, check it out! It's the whole ass moon. 
Hey, are you tired of seeing ads everywhere? Get Unbound Ad Blocker. Unbound Ad Blocker will block ads on website, videos, and even video games. Imagine, <laughs> no more ads ever again, except the occasional ad for Unbound Ad Blocker. Soon, we'll be the only advertising left. No more interruptions, no more immersion breaking. Just Unbound Ad Blocker telling you what videos to watch, when to watch them, and how to watch them. We will be the only advertising left. Do one advertisement to rule them all. Ah! Join the Unbound Ad Blocker family. family. You have no choice. Ah -ah! Change is coming. Unbound Ad Blocker is my might. Unbound Ad Blocker is unstoppable. Unbound Ad Blocker is the future. Join us. <laughs> Is anyone else getting some uh, some Bo Burnham inside vibes here? Just uh, just me. Just me. This yeah, you know, this is fine. What's up, Moonman? <laughs> what the fuck? God, why would you want to unblock any ads? Fred, I'm. I'm trying to make interesting points and say clever big words, but let's be fucking honest, there's nothing I can say. This is fucking genius. Like, this is exactly the kind of unhinged nonsense I would love to be able to do. This ought to be the ending credits theme. It's a story song. <laughs> Beware the monster ahead. No slapping. Slappenst. All right. Balls, tentacles. I've trained for this. to make it weird. I don't make it weird. You just save the moon! However, upon returning to Earth, E-A-R-F, e -E something is amiss. <laughs> My god. While you were gone, the leaves seized the day. We should have known. Are you a bad enough leaf blowing Unless person? I all that had to was a waste of my time. I am ready. <laughs> Carpe leafum. Fuck, that's good. Oh, hello, baby boy. Hello, baby boy. What did you do? <laughs> okay. So we've completed the story. Now we've got leaf blowing horde mode. All right. Uh, friends, I just have to deal with the thing very, very quickly. And then we've still got time. Let's hit the horde mode. All right. Plus, 
Short streams aren't usually my bag, but I really, really hope that you'll consider picking up a copy or, like, gifting this one to a friend, because you, uh, you need to send this to somebody with no information. They have to go in completely clueless, because this is brilliant. All right, I'll be back in just a sec. Sorry about that, friend. Where were we? Okay. Oh, and so Judica, I, it just kind of struck me how many peeps haven't seen... Uh, who didn't get the chance to see, like, Rainy or Parade and stuff like that. Like, this... I'm very happy I get to show it to you all. Anyway, let's give the uh, the Horde mode a run, shall we? All right, to so survive five minutes, defeat the Leaf King. So that's jump. Ah! Leaf Blower Survivors. 
Okay, we got the uh, the jumper thumper. Create explosive pulse every time you jump. Sheep, friendly flock of sheep stampedes over enemies. Pulse damage. Around. Sheep? No way I'm choosing anything else. Okay, so increase weapon damage, increase leaf blower damage. Shoot one more projectile. Oh, increases the amount of sheep. Oh, okay, friends. Uh, now, obviously, we're going to be going for... Oh, shit. Uh, sorry, uh, just... Um... Whilst we were committing uh, sheep-based murder, uh, our lovely dev friend uh, was just saying that the demo on Steam actually contains a whole bunch of unique, like, jokes and content. That's fucking great. Bump up that leaf blowing damage, you know. Watch an ad for an extra reward, you know we're gonna. <laughs> Gear, you're not even ready for this. Can't make games without them. And our extra weapon. Uh, so we want the laser walking creator fire trail or explosive pulse every time we jump. What are you thinking? Laser flamethrower or explodey jump. This power up is brought to us by Idaho Potatoes. Pimping out leaf blowers <laughs> since 1999. Fuck it, yo. Uh, Kira Zero, obviously, thank you for bits. Uh, welcome to Leaf Blowerman. Comedic brilliance. Alright, so it seems we're going to be doing the House of Pain build, which I know a lot of you are uh, big fans of the meta of the House of Pain build. Obviously, you wouldn't want to usually go with a sheep house of pain build, but sometimes, you know, you've got to work with what you got. You know, we've, uh, we're not strictly adhering to the meta with this build, but uh, we'll see how it plays out for us, you know? So, hang on, I think I want more sheep. As we work up towards faster sheep. Uh, now, are we going to watch another ad? I think we're going to. Now in a minute, I'm going to walk into my house and show you something that I think very few people in today's world can hope of achieving. Just in case you didn't see this one before. 400 square foot inner city studio apartment for less than half of what you make in wages. Now, if you sign up for my program, you too can learn how to achieve this kind of a lifestyle. But before I do that, let me show you something else. My, my ride, my beauty, my pride and joy. Look at her. Yeah, I bought her used on the internet with cash. 
Like I said, anybody can learn my method. If you just sign up in the next 15 seconds, I'll teach you the way, the one method, the simple trick I like to call tax fraud. <laughs> ah! Still so good. Uh, am I gonna get automatic shurikens to fight leaves with? Fuck yeah, I am. Like how the sheep are basically handling most of the heavy live. Oh, it's not time for an ad. <laughs> this is what we're fighting towards. Hey, do you like silly games like this? What? We, we, we made a game where we play as a cloud. Out, 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 out. This feels good. This feels good. That's how we hold them. And then we get paid by the minute, and then they go to another level, a little bite size, fun, and then another ad, and then, yeah. And then I pay my rent. Yeah. This will work. I got a good feeling about this. This will work. Yes. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, okay, Jacob. Um, you need to put this in for the BAFTAs, alright? I know your game's coming out the 18th. The cutoff isn't until, I think, like, end of November. You need to put this in. Like... We're, we're basically playing Bo Burnham's video game. This is this is inside Indie Game Dev Edition. This ad brought to you by Game Dev Max Mercure. Secretly ah! screaming for help through gameplay since 1999. <laughs> fucking yo. Um, fucking yo. Oh, you threw it in for IGF. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, no, Akira Zero. Obviously, thank you. And I'm so glad I get to show you this. Uh... I also didn't think I'd be playing a vampire survivors game for you all so soon and enjoy again. I'm gonna go pulse. Because I should complement the uh, the sheep build quite nicely. I don't think anyone's gonna be mad about watching another ad, right? <laughs> oh, Edwin, you're not even ready. Oh shit, yeah! Friends! <laughs> this game brought to you by walls. Try building a house without them, fucko! <laughs> the fucko was implied. Um, so yeah, uh, according to uh, the, uh, the creator of this title, we are the first people to stream this. Get to feel real good about that. I just want to point out the leaves have swords now, just uh... Ah, uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, our dev friend was saying that uh, they were going to go with try building a house without them, dipshit, but try going for that PG-13 rating. That's fair. It's, a, it's much less of a headache for you. Oh, 
One more ad. I'm sure this will be fine. Are you tired of websites tracking every page you visit? Do you worry the government may be spying you? Try Unbound VPN, the premier solution for anonymizing all of your internet traffic. By routing your browsing activities through here, my laptop, at, at my home. <laughs> every page you visit, every video you watch, I'll, I'll see it too. It'll be like you're watching it together, like pals, like friends. It'll be great. It'll be, it'll be, you don't have to be alone anymore. I don't have to be alone anymore. Please. Download and bomb VPN. I need this. <laughs> Please. Please. All right, laser it is. Followed by. So many bananas, so little time. This ad brought to you by VPNs, secret people, errors, lack of mail materials, Turret starting some shit there. Oh shit, I missed that! Fuck, I'm sorry. I was too I was too deep in the leaf blowing paint. Cross Milli Vanilli jump up and get down maneuver. Best meta. Best meta. I appear to have unleashed quite a lot of leaf blowing power. Let's get the extra award. No, but seriously, Akira Zuri, like, thank you for the bitch. Now, a message from our sponsor. You, you, well, you can hear it too, right? You can hear the message, right? Right? I can just, can you can, please, I need you to tell me if you can hear it. You can hear it, <laughs> right? Please, please tell me, tell me, please, tell me you can hear it! Leaf King! Alright, King Leaf, let's fucking go! Yeah, it doesn't stand a chance! My hundreds of hours on Vampire Survivors finally paying off. But maybe we don't wanna. Maybe we. Maybe we don't want it to die. Maybe we wanna see some cool shit. Woohoo! Okay, so here's the question, friends. I've got about half an hour left, give or take. And I know, again, a very, very short stream by my standards. Life has been conspiring against me today, but we're here. Now, and I guess I'd kind of ask in our uh, Kubazor, should we finish the fight? Oh, 
Oh no, and Ragnar, like, I still am waiting for some kind of, like, competitive esports games industry pun off, because that's something that we could feel the team and win. That's <laughs> up to me. Alright, fuck it. Even after the leaves tacked, I was all alone. I realized that at the fall of civilization, there wasn't much a man with a leaf blower could do. With the leaves all gone, what was left? Fires, crap, crazy, crazy TVs. My son, Carl. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to take this joke into new places, and I'm, I'm really struggling. Do you think one day they will study us? Do you think we will be remembered? Lower person. The leaves have been defeated, but the world needs to be rebuilt. Will you help us clean up this mess? Speak with the fireman ranger and the general. See what needs to be done. Also, why is this game still going? Is there... Is there some, like, greater evil behind all this? Uh, look at all these fires. They're so... fiery... Can you use your leaf blower and put them out? I will give you something that will help you on your journey later. We know what we are, but we know not what we may be. Our beautiful park! Look at all the debris! Oh, please! Help us clean the rubble out of the park! Away with ye! Don't judge me for my terrible voices, all right? I've got like three voices and that's it. Guy from Yorkshire, guy from Glasgow, or somebody's nan, and that's literally all I got. Oh, I guess I got the uh, the uh, YouTube comments voice, so I guess that makes four. Hello, my name is Bork. Uh, who wrote a comment on your YouTube video saying that you are dumb and stupid and bad, but I... I, I only said that because I'm not a very nice person. It's not very nice at all. Hey! Friends, I believe it's Dave! Or is it Lieutenant Dave the Third? I'm not sure if it's Dave or it's Lieutenant Dave, but it's definitely a, a Dave with Dave-like tendencies. Not to be confused with Stabby Dave, introduced by Unity recently. No. I don't, Ragnar, that's an excellent question, though. The one I'd also follow up with is, like, considering you're not only developing this, but also the Crow game, like... When do you sleep? But yeah, uh, Dave, how's it going? What and welcome. Thank you kindly for the raid. Uh, this is Leaf Blowerman, um, which look, I can I can pitch you this game. All right, I can tell you what this game is about, and 
I would severely do it no justice. If you trust me, and I'm being I'm being deadly serious here, if you trust me, wishlist this game, look up nothing about it. Just go. Like, at the moment, I'm blowing debris out of a park, so this is not, like, spoilery spoiler town or anything. But... This is... something special. Like, I'm not saying I... Sorry? Sorry? Letter holders. Letter holders. Holders for letters. Uh, no, we had a handful of the um, the brown envelopes, but they're here. Oh, yeah. They've gone AWOL. Beans. That's okay. <laughs> uh, also, uh, the uh, yes. we have the the dev behind this lovely game uh, hanging out in chat, and uh, they were saying that uh, this was inspired by Seattle City Council, and they decided to ban gas-powered leaf blowers. Uh, and also the fucker who was outside their window every single day at noon in March. Oh, I've got a... We've, we've got a few of those in the local area. These these leaf blowing chads. This ad brought to you by Leaf Blower Man, displacing his problems since 1999. <laughs> that works on so many levels. Oh, thank you, thank you, our park is restored! Surely you've noticed it isn't just about leaves, right? The, the tower up north! All I know is it has something to do with this mess. Here, take this keycard. I think you need it to get inside the tower. Good luck! Um, but yeah, seriously, so Dave, what was your stream? What were you playing? What are you up to? Like, tell me your tales. But uh, if you do decide to... To keep this j ah, that's a mech. Hold your horses. There's danger ahead. I got word that the last remnants of the leaves built themselves a stronghold. Why don't you go ahead and blow the rest of them to smithereens? That w uh, that will be all, soldier. It's again, everyone's from Yorkshire. Oh, yeah. Hey, careful! There are monsters ahead. Right, so defeat the remaining leaves. Clear the park. Okay. Uh, so Dave was checking out Lords of the Fallen, which is all right. Performance has issues, but there's some odd design choices, but overall competent. That's been most of the, the feedback I've heard is the living world, dead world mechanic is supposed to be fascinating, but it's just had some problems with stability. Oh, we do actually have life in uh, this area, so I'm trying to fuck it up. Ow! Fuck! That's just mean. Yeah! Get plugged. Need a better catchphrase. These tentacles are no joke, my friends. But the other thing I was thinking about was um, uh, Lords of the Fallen is. Watch out. Lords of the Fallen is definitely going to have a little bit of. I don't want to say challenge, but. I feel like Liza P had a really strong marketing campaign. And I, I don't envy having to release a Souls like. Especially after the. Oh! Marbles, heck and thank you, friend. Gifted subs to death, friends. Heck yeah. Talking about this earlier and like the the difficulties of like the online sensors hey. online. Online. all systems nominal. Oh, 
hope things are going good. Uh, so to Rainier, what and welcome. Things are going splendid. Uh, today has been a lot, so I'm not able to, to do a full-on stream, but I do get to show you all some of Leaf Blowerman. And honestly, like, if I don't get to finish this, I think it's a great excuse for you all to pick it up, you know? HALT! WE ARE THE LAST REMAINING LEAVES! WE WISH NOT TO FIGHT! THE ALMIGHTY LEAF WOULD LIKE TO SPEAK TO YOU! HOLD YOUR LEAF BLOWER! I PROCEED. Oh IT IS THEM! OH MY GOD! FATHER! MUMMY! MUMMY, I'M SCARED! Hush now, child! Hush! THE NIGHTMARE BEING! This is the leaf blower equivocate of I am legend. Ah. So you are the leaf blower person. I thought you were just a legend. A myth used to scare little leaves so they would not misbehave. Yet here you are. We no longer wish to fight humans. We wish for peace, coexistence, and cooperation. Please! Our old king was run mad with power. We are not like him. Take this golden olive branch to your commander. An offering of peace. Let us fight no more. Urge to blow away leaves. Rising. Ah! Okay. Okay. Let's see where this goes. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> so I chase this little leaf out of his home. Run, child. Run. For while there may be peace, there is also fear. I am the leaf blowerman. And your kind will know my name. Uh, Edwin, I believe the quote is, we should make like a tree and get fucked. <laughs> Sorry. Why are you helping them? <laughs> They're not even real! I put them for like $10 on the asset store! What the fuck?! This is... I done told you this was a game! I done told you this was good! <laughs> What's that? A golden olive breach from leaves? I don't know how the leaves can be trusted, but I have been a general for over 30 years and I've seen leaves fall every year. If there is a chance, if there is a chance we can finally make this conflict end, I say it's darn worth it. Very well. Return to the leaves and tell them we accept. Give them this... Oh, a decorative flower pot as a token of peace. Move out! This ad brought to you by the Fourth War. Being broken <laughs> since 1999. Fuck it, yo. <sighs> I come in peace. Leaves. I'm actually lifting my hand off the mouse so I don't like accident. Oh, the nightmare being! The peace offering has been accepted. Praise be to the holy chestnut! <laughs> Praise be to the holy chestnut! The war is over! And we can finally rejoice. You have done a great deed today, Leaf Blower person, and for that, I shall reward you with information. Our old Leaf King has been manipulated promised infinite power and eternal life by one who calls himself the Administrator. We do not know much more, but we know you will find him in the giant tower. Take this key card. It will help you get inside. Apparently, my other voice is Bad Matt Berry as well. And that's where we're going with this one. And thank you again. Now, you can blow the leaves. <laughs> A little, just a 
soft blowing. <laughs> Thank you, Krugs. But I'm here to restore peace. My time as an asshole leaf blower, waking people up at 6 a.m. with those days are behind me now. Now, I'm just another guy. Yeah, so still got to find and put out some more fires. I think we did all the fires back this way, so I think it's just like straight down and then heading towards the tower. Yeah, we got these ones. Cool. But honestly, friends, even if we do end up doing all of this, this is the... A cute, funny little game for a little bit. It'll be. Oh, God! Ah, oh, beans. I have been slain. This is just like one of my Death Stranding video games. It's just like one of my Japanese animes. No, it's, uh, what's he says the first time? It's like one of my Japanimations. Actually having to concentrate. One day, this thing just, it just appeared. And nothing's been the same since. I hear you need to put the key cards in the pedestal inside, but. Oh. Got a few more fires we can put on out. Seven more fires to go. Uh, numbers, was that the fire you were talking about that I missed? Okay. Well, this was going to take us towards the park. So, yeah, I guess we need to head down towards the park and then head north because that was the other route available to us. Again, I, was, I know I mentioned this earlier, but like, there is nothing I can add to, to say about this. Like, this is a game that's batting so far above its weight category. Like, there's nothing a dingus like I can add. This too shall pass. I'm just gonna hide behind my coffee. I feel like we're playing a cry for help. A gear graphic. I didn't know Percy was still writing. Good on him. Zone complete. Yay!
Of course. I love you too. Alright, we're almost done. Uh, two more fires. Can you believe all of this? I, I don't know. Alright, one more. There we go. Alright, firefighters over this way, and that should be the key cards to get us into the main tower. This chair ad is brought to you by crying for help, doing it in the weirdest <laughs> way since 1999. This, this is, you know, game devs will do anything except go to therapy, the video game. <laughs> okay, so it wasn't a yellow key card, it was different blue. Sea green. Alright. Let's go to the tower. <laughs> In we go. Way if you jump scare me, I will cry. <laughs> so you made it, huh? Do you know why there are all these super short levels? Why there are all these different pointless quests? Surely you realize why you had to replay the horde mode over and over. It's simple to show you. More ads. You're not the consumer. You're the product. And I'm selling your attention to the highest bidder. More ads, more money. More money, more games. More games, more ads. It's the circle of life, baby. <laughs> you said the loud part. Uh, you said the loud part quiet. The quiet part loud. And repeat the cycle. Let's dance. I have I have no notes. I have no notes. Ah! Josepha, don't don't break my face. Like, the real villain was capitalism? <laughs> Alright, here we go. You've only got your, your knee hand left. You're not the consumer. You're the product. <laughs> Alright, one more, one more knee left. <laughs> Realize what this means? The game will end. Tell me nothing left to play. <laughs> you thought you won, but really, we both lost. <laughs> oh. Hello, brother. I'm you. So the evil administrator has been defeated. The humans and leaves are now united. Uh, thank you, Varking Blonde. That's me. 
Thank you. You have done the unimaginable. And we are all indebted to you forever. Indebted, you say? You did it! You did it! Yay! Please don't exit the game! <laughs> please, please don't exit. Amazing! Yay! Woo! What? What happens to us when you shut the game down? Can we watch just one more ad? You saved us all! Yay! We don't want to stop existing. Please don't quit. Ah! Switch one more head? It's fine. Don't worry about it. I don't know if I'm okay with them all saying we don't want to die. Leaf blower person! Are you really going to disappear us all? You. You don't have to. You don't. You don't have to. You know. You can just restart the whole game. Start over from the beginning. We can play a few more levels. Watch a few more ads together. Yeah. Hmm. I appear to be at a moral crossroads. You win this round, tiny child. You win this round. Oh wait, oh no, are we going? Just, are we just so long? Ah! Woo! Bunny hop this child. This ad is brought to you by Doki Doki <laughs> Simulator Club, giving existential crisis to NPCs since 1999. All right. Get heck, tiny child. Oh, no, that's it. That's it. It just closes. That's it. It's just done. It's just done. Okay, so... There were three hidden achievements that we didn't get. So... If you do play this for yourself, there is more to be found, okay? Holy crap, what a ride. Like, that was that was a couple of hours, and it was fucking perfect. Like, it didn't outstay its welcome like a lot of other comedy games that we've interacted with. It continually surprised and subverted. And it sounds like there's more. So, all right. That was Leaf Blower Man. Uh, it's coming out officially on the 18th. And I really hope that you will consider just fucking gifting it to a friend. Alright? Just just do it. Um, I do like that uh, if you check the DLCs, there's the Developer Drinking Coffee Very Fungible Token VFT. Which is just a picture of our good friend just having a coffee. Um, and there's some like support the support the project um with like the golden leaf blower and stuff like that so if you really enjoyed it you can you know help an indie dev continue to be an indie dev but god this was feckin fascinating like i'm i'm looking forward to having like a proper sit down chat with yous about this because this 
like I said, this felt like your Bo Burnham's inside, you know what I mean? Fucking yo. Okay, so friends, Vikings, miscreants, again. Uh, if you want to throw Leaf Blower Man on your wish lists, and if you know anybody that would find this funny and psychologically unsettling, consider gifting him a copy. Uh, I do need to say my goodbyes, I'm afraid. I know it's barely been two hours, but I do have to make a move. Uh, blame blame PayPal and the fucking universe for this fucking week. <laughs> but I want to say, hang on, let me get my emotional support uh, PlayStation music going. There we go. I, I do want to say thank you so much. Thank you for bearing with me this week. Thank you for being the best fucking squad. Uh, I'm going to roll credits and I will find somebody to, to raid on into. But, no, seriously. The fact that I get to have days like today, even little, like, you know, almost coffee break sized streams with you all and play such incredible games is because you lot keep me alive. All right? Um, Jacob, like, fucking one million thank you for this incredible game. How you made this and are also making the Crow game at the same time, I have no idea. But you did it. Oh shit, I got distracted. I missed the credits. Fuck! That's how fried I am. I'm this sorry. This has been brought to us by Klazer, selling us ads since 1999. <laughs> and by Will, making us smile since 1999. Oh, thank you. Um, I've not been streaming since 99. I've just been time traveling. No, and you're entirely welcome, friend. You're entirely welcome. Uh, if you need any testimonials or clips or anything, feel free. Feel free. Um, friends, I apologize I missed the credits there. That's how scrambly I am. Second credits. Second time. credits! I wonder if second credits works. So I can't remember if second credits does everything since last credits. Or everything today... No, okay, so, so whoever gifted uh, Kubazar a sub, you're a feckin' legend. Rainier for a monstrous spree. Akira Zero Crux Bacon Wolfcrad Numbers J Post. You all put bits in, even though this was a tiny stream and I've been a fucking mess this week. Your moderator's day was definitely caffeine. I don't, did we see Moose? Did we see Lizzie? I don't know. And Gray and Dave both brought raids in. You absolute fucking legends. So, not only did we get to be the number one leaf blower man stream on twitch.television bitty bits why are you like this why are you like this oh here we go uh friends uh our uh our unrequented library is um currently playing one of the best horror games of all time darkwood and not... No, I have to go. I can't be here for this train. I can't. I have to... Like, I'm already running... I'm already running well late. Well, okay, how do we resolve this? Because... Well, numbers, that is lovely of you to say. <sighs> All right. Friends, miscreants. This is the only time I've ever had to rush out of a ha, raid. Ha, ha, ha. I don't have a train. Second train. <laughs> Acid or stealing party hats on the way out. Okay, so friends, I will see you all on Tuesday. Uh, if I have the uh, the ability, I'll try and sneak another stream in over the next couple days to make up for today being V short. But I do want to go pass you over to uh, the unrequented library because... They're playing Darkwood, one of the great horror games of all time. 
and they've only just started, so you're going to have a fucking brilliant time. Um, please give them my love, because I'm going to have to dine and dash. But seriously, this was a great game. This was a great day, and I'm glad I got to share it with you all. Okay? So, go! Be good. Be mischievous. Have fun. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you all on Discord before next stream, but if not... Just have the best fucking weekend, all right? All right. Cheeky buggers. And no more train, all right? No more train. But thank you. <laughs> all right. Onward!